Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and I will be the host for this pitcher comparison, a fan request at that, comparing the 1993 Dorian Yates, Olympia version of course for each, versus the 1997, it was maybe his best, versus perhaps his very worst, so is his his least impressive versus his most impressive, and before I begin I would like to thank Dorian Yates himself for all of the time that he donated to create these versions of himself that will never ever be duplicated. Let's face it, at his age, he's not coming back, guys. But <laughs> let's go through these shots, trying to be a little bit like an actor. Been watching a lot of Edward G. Robinson lately. What a, what a, what a heck of an actor. Wow. We're starting off with a bang. You know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to go right for the the obvious part. And I'm going to compliment 1997 here. His wheels are huge. His wheels are probably just as big, but his lats are more symmetrical. You notice that? Can you guys detect that? His lats are a little bit more symmetrical. I noticed they were a little unsymmetrical in 92 and here in 93. But having said that, Get serious. Get serious. Look at the midsection. Not even close. He was obviously taking a little something extra to get his midsection to, in that type of shape. Either that or it was a longer off season. I think that can, can contribute to uh, expanding those ab muscles. He's obviously, he's just as good as condition. I would, I would suggest. I would suggest. Now, when you look at the arms... You may, you may notice his left bicep and I guess his tricep, it's gone. His forearm looks gone. His elbow seems to have some sort of, some sort of cyst or something. And his, his, his right arm, even his right bicep, it looks diminished in size. So yes, wow, not even close guys. In a sport like bodybuilding... A bicep that looks like that, it usually means your placings are going to drop. And obviously they didn't. Dorian got the win and he left. He left. But I could name some names, you know. Get you guys riled up. Tom Platts. Let us know in the comment section below. What's going on there? Tom Platts tore his bicep. Friend Lats bread. 1997. Look at that, huh? Now, I, I sizing was difficult. Because I think he... I think his growth might have been stunted. But, all seriousness... Well, it could have been. Could have lost a half inch in his, his height. All him pounding all that weight. But, having said that, he, he bend at the knees. He, he bended at the knees. Is that right? Bended? He bended it at the knees. More in 1997. In a lot of these shots. So I had to go by that too. And lat for lat. He's pretty much there with 1993. Condition. More slender in the midsection. 93 I think is a little bit better. The lats do appear to be. Slightly more Dorian-esque. No pun intended. Or pun intended. In the chest. He's flexing it more. I don't think he's flexing it in uh, 97. It's ripped to shreds. Monsoon, Gorilla Monsoon. This is Jesse the Body Ventura. Ha <laughs> ha, Saturday night's main event. But anyway, anyway. Go to, turn to the side. Uh, did that make sense? Go to, turn to the side. Side chest, Dorian Yates. He was good, the British Bulldog. Flex, 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 hard to get a good steak. Yeah, I think it, you have to really play detective in a picture like this because it's it's totally different angle. Bicep, you can see, it, it's just diminished by 97. Legs look just as good. Judging from the angle, you're not going to be able to tell the midsection's bigger, which it probably is. But look at the close pack. It looks like it has more substance, more ripped to shreds. Um, Gene... Mean Gene. That was my Rick, ravishing Rick Rude impression. Gene. Can't really do his impression. But, uh, yeah, his chest looks like it has more substance. And it's slightly less ripped. So, I don't think he was 
just not flexing it in that front lats, but I just think he didn't have the ripples, the ripple effect. Here's the side tricep. And his midsection kind of goes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, his midsection's hard as a rock, mind you. Stone, but it's more of a an iron sheik. And Iron Sheik's the real grandfather of Palumboism, you guys know. He had a, I, I used to call it a, a gut of six pack. A gut of six pack. I don't know what that meant, but Iron Sheik had a gut of six pack and he was the first. He was the first Palumboism. They should call it Sheikism. So he has a little bit of a Sheikism. 97, obviously nowhere near what they did because Dorian always kept his midsection in check. You can see it's just the, just the beginnings of a whiffle of it. He's still solid everywhere else, but it makes the difference in that coupled with the chest. I mean, your midsection gets a little bit bigger, your chest gets a little slightly smaller, and that makes a huge difference. The lines, the aesthetics, 93. Ring a ding ding? No, no. Let's have a look at the backs because this you may find very interesting. Because I know I did. And we are like-minded people, us bodybuilding fans. His back looks better in 97. There's a freshness. Uh, you know, a fresh crispness, brand new out of the box. His lower back, things of that nature. And it appears, if you just look at the lower back, it looks like a guy has been squatting for 50 years. You know, just crunched down. But ignore the fresh crispness, the brand newishness. Look at the outer lats. They really are bigger and rounder. And if you don't agree with that, which you probably should, guys, look at the traps. His traps are mountainous. Look at that. Huh? His triceps. <laughs> you can see his triceps from behind. They, they're dwindled away in 97. As to are his forearms. He had some great forearms in his time. And it's a shame to see them dwindled away. Now, I neglected to mention the hanging hamstring in the side tricep pose. Rewind it. Go back and look at his hanging hamstring. And you can see it from behind here. So his hamstrings, his wheels just as good. And if you take the, the hamstrings into consideration, just they, they, they were better. His glutes looked a little weird, though. They looked soggy. And they're not soggy, but they just didn't... He didn't have the strawishins and the glutes like he did in 93. Go to the next back shot. And I believe it's going to be the same thing here. Maybe a hardness, a crispness of 93, lower back, things of that nature. He might be a little bit more conditioned. And you can see the glutes, like I said. You can't see them in 97. But having said that, I, I do concur with the lats being bigger. They're bigger, guys. They are. So he was working on his back. Wasn't just uh, sitting at home on the couch eating bonbons. Huh? That's a saying. But yes, his traps. Look at that. Bigger. Better. Thicker. Rawer. Delts are smaller, though. Mm, that makes a big difference in this shot. So it's a sleek, aesthetic rear double buy for 93 versus a colossus of big old roads. Is that the saying? Colossus of big old roads. His back kind of looks like a big ant head with uh, horns, his arms being the horns. Do you think Dorian Yates is the devil? He could be. He could be. Here's the abs and thigh, and this one's hilarious. So he is. I think he was at his heaviest in 97. You can see that. He's thicker. Maybe the picture, the thickness of the picture is distorted. I think that's possible. Be leaner, but even look at his cheeks. He's got a great big chisel chin. Can you get a big chisel chin from taking that extra gear? Huh? Subsang, subsang. Looks like a big rooster. Buck! You know, I can do more than a rooster. I can do a turkey. You guys want to hear my turkey call? Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. I used to do it better. Didn't quite nail it. Didn't quite nail it. You guys know there's a rooster call in that one bourbon, one scotch, one beer song? No fooling. Go listen to that song. One bourbon, one scotch. It's a rooster going crazy. But midsection, much better, much more slender. 
And his face looks different. I'll give you that. Looks like a big king rooster. Big chicken king. Big a la chicken. And chickens, hey, oh, here's the most muscular. I'm trying to make a joke, guys. You don't change the pose on me when I'm in mid-joke. Might have forgot that. Might have forgot that. But yeah, chickens aren't chickens. If you go try to try to mess around with a rooster and tell him you come back and tell me he's a chicken. They're brave. They'll fight anything. They need to. Protect their hens. Yeah, his chest actually looks pretty good here. The angle's way off. Well, a angle's way different. These pictures from 93, I think they're making him look a little bit too thin. I think they're making him look a little slender. Could be that he actually is a lot bigger in 97. But let's face it, guys. Midsection was much better. He had the bicep tear. And yes, it's only one pose, but come on. There was not a single guy on that roster that he was beating in that front double bicep because of the arm. And the same thing goes with Tom Platts. That's why they placed him accordingly. But they did not place Dorian accordingly. But we don't need to get into that. But I was still beating the other blokes on conditioning. Yes, yes, yes. He has the Sandow on his crusty old mantle. Hit thumbs up, subscribe, have a nice one.